Hi everyone, on this video we're going to just graph two hyperbolas and we're first going to complete the square and then we're going to do uh, find all the information and graph it like we did the other uh, video prior to this one. Um, so hopefully you watch that video first because I'm going to go a little faster on, on this one. Um, basically when you see something like this you want to uh, group your y's together and your x's together. And keep your constant on the right side. And then we're going to what I call put a box. Oh, let's just put a line here. And then we're going to subtract uh, minus 2. And we're going to put x squared minus 2x. Plus, let's just go ahead and put a box like I, I did before, plus box. And this is going to equal 9 plus this box here and then we're going to have to subtract 2 times the box because this is 2 times that. So we can complete the square, half of 6 is 3 squared and that's 9. So you put it in the box. Half of 2 is 1, square it is 1. So basically we get 18 minus 2 is 16 on this side. So let's finish this up. So this, we're going to, the reason we did this is we want to make perfect squared trinomials so we can write uh, an equation. Looks like a parabola. Oh, so we put here half of 6 is 3. Square it. And when you FOIL this out, you get that back. We already talked about that. Then we have minus 2. This is going to be x. Take that one, minus half of 2 is 1, square it, and all of this adds up to uh, 16. Now to put in the format, we're going to divide everything by 16. So we get y plus 3 squared over 16 minus 2 times x minus 1 squared over 8. Well, there's no two here, sorry, um, equals one. So now we have uh, our hyperbola in form and we have to write everything out. Okay, so I'm going to write this down again. y plus 3 squared over 16 minus x minus 1 squared over 8 equals 1. My a squared is 16. My b squared is 8. And my c squared is going to be 24. Therefore, my a is plus or minus 4. My b equals plus or minus uh, square root of 8. I'm just going to leave it like that. It's really 2 root 2. And c equals plus or minus square root of 24, which is very close to 25. Now, I write down all the pertinent information. My center is 1, comma, negative 3. And for my vertices, since y starts, everything's changing on the y. So I write down my 1 and write negative 3. And I'm going to do it again. Now, we're adding to the y. So the y part is your 4. So you're adding 4 and you're subtracting 4. So this is going to equal 1, comma, 1, and this is going to equal 1, comma, negative 7. So those are your vertices. And your foci is the same thing. You copy your center down, and you add your c. And square root of 24 is the same as um, 2 root 6. So I'm going to add plus 2 root 6 minus 2 square root of 6. There's your foci. Okay, now we're going to graph this. Um, and I'm just going to look at the equation to graph it. And this is the information you might need for a test or something. But So let's graph it. Our center is, let's write it down. Let me see where it is at. We're at 1, negative 3. 
one, two, three. There's your center. So I'm going to write the equation over here. You know, y plus 3 squared over 16 plus, or it's minus, minus x minus 1 squared over 8 equals 1. We know this opens up and down. Now, for my y portion, um, the square root, I'm going up my a. So, square root of 16 is 4. So, I go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 4, 2, 3, 4. And square root of 8 um, is close to square root of 9. So, we're kind of going over 3, 1, 2, 3, but not quite. So, I'll move it in a little. And one, two, three, and move it in a little. I draw my box around this area. I forgot to do my slopes. All right. Now, just draw your asymptotes. Okay, and remember the slope of the asymptotes are plus or minus, in this case, A over B. Or like I like to say, plus or minus y over x. I use the y. So the square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 8 is um, 2 root 2. So this reduces to um, 2 over square root of 2, which is 2 root 2 over 2. Oops, sorry. 2 root 2, well, it's going to keep happening. So um, our slopes are plus or minus um, 2 root 2 over 2, so it's just root 2. All right, anyway, we can just say that it's, um, you can go up and over like that. So now it's going to open up, so I'm going to open it up and down. Why does it open up and down? Because y starts. Okay. Now the foci was our c. What was our c? Square root of 24, which is close to 5. So I go from my center, and I go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A little bit lower. And go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, a little bit higher because it's not quite square root of 25. And there's your graph. And you have all your information. Okay, we're going to do one more. Um, this one's a little harder with completing the square. So I'm going to group my y's together. And move my constant on the right side. Now I'm going to factor out a 4. I'm going to put a little box here. Minus. Don't forget to change this to negative. Okay, plus box. Equals negative 11. Plus 4 times the box. Minus the box. So that's negative the box. Okay, half of 4 is 2, square it, you get 4. Half of 2 is 1, square it, you get 1. So we're putting in 4 and 1. Okay, so this is going to be 16 minus 12, which is 4. So let's write this out. We get 4 times y minus half of 4 is 2 minus x minus half of 2 is 1, square it, and 16 minus 12 is 4. Now divide everything by 4 to put it in um, proper standard form. It's going to be over 1 equals 1. I'm going to write this equation on the other side. On this next slide, we had y minus 2 squared over 1 
minus x minus 1 squared over 4 equals 1. We have to find all the information. Our a squared is 1. Our b squared is 4. So our c squared is 5. Therefore, my a is plus or minus 1. My b equals plus or minus 2. And my c is plus or minus square root of 5, which is in between 2 and 3. So let's write out our center. Our center is going to be 1, 2. And since on this one, again, it's on the y, so for my vertices, I write down my center again. And I'm adding my a, which is plus 1, minus 1. So my vertices are going to be at 1, 3, and 1, 1. My foci, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to write down my center, but I'm adding to the y because the y comes first and adding um, my square root of 5 and subtracting my square root of 5. All right, um, my slope is going to be plus or minus uh, a squared over b, or a over b. So then I just take the y part over the x part. So that's going to be plus or minus one half. Now we can graph this. I'm going to write the equation down again. Let me do the center first. My center is going to be one, two. So I can write the, my equation on this side. Y minus two squared over one minus X minus one squared over four equals one. So what I do is on my Y, I'm looking at that the square root of 1 is 1, so I'm just going up 1 and down 1. And on my x, the square root of 4 is 2, so I'm going over 2, to the right 2, and to the left 2. I draw my little box. My asymptotes are 1 plus or minus 1 half. This is going to also open up and down. My vertices are here. So you're going this way. And all I have to do is add the foci, which was uh, plus or minus square root of 5. So all I'm going to do, I know this is in between, um, square root of 5 is in between the square root of 4 and the square root of 9, which is 2 and 3. So what I'm going to do is from here go up, um, Three and go down a half, so one, two, three. So right about there, you do that in green. That's your first one, and go down three or two, one, two, three, back one, and there's uh, your second focus. And that's all for that. Have a nice day. I did do um, a video on eccentricity and the lattice rectum. If you would like to look at that, that has to do with hyperbolus. Thanks and have a nice day.